Okay, we're back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now to switch knives again here. I should have sharpened some of these up ahead of time. Folks, if you're new to this, it's very important that you learn how to sharpen your knives. Um, I know I sound repetitive with a lot of things, but I, I do that for the benefit of new people joining us. Um, you know, just some, uh, we can all remember what it was like just to learn how to do carving and, you know, how many questions we had when we started. And I do try to keep that in mind. I know uh, between Jean and I, we we try to make things very simple for people to understand. And, um, you know, we try our best to do that. Okay, now we've got his tail pretty well cut out. We're going to just round up his body. So we're going to just cut off the edge there. Now this piece of wood is just a little over an inch. He's a little small. You can always enlarge it and you know, do your multiplication. You know, if you want it twice as big, um, you know, you're going to have to compensate for the width on that, but that's okay. Uh, you're welcome to make a bigger one if, if the smaller one's too, um, too tiny for you. I know the small stuff is a little harder to handle, but I also find it's a lot quicker to finish a project, too. So it's, it's, uh, to me, it's more enjoyable to do the sm smaller things sometimes and see your efforts uh, finally uh, get done. Okay, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna chop down here. We're gonna, we're gonna take the knife and we're going to kind of do this from the bottom to give us a, uh, an indication uh, where we need to cut, okay? Or how much we need to cut, our general guideline, okay? So what we're going to do, we go back to a, this knife again, and we're just going to chop out this and then go up to the front. We're going to go underneath the ear there and just scoop this out. Okay, just like so. See how it's going inward? heading that way okay we're gonna do the same thing over here we're just gonna scoop out the ears are going to be a little bit different um, we'll get to them in a few seconds here okay so he's shaping up his body should look a little bit rounded like if this is looking from the top, this is his tail, okay? He should look rounded like so, okay? And then his ears come out, and then his head, okay? That's how it should appear. I know that's kind of rough looking, but it gives you an idea what I'm, what I'm heading for. All right, so we have that kind of an um, appearance to it already. But we're going to scoop out some more. And what we need to do here, we're going to start with the ears. We're going to chop out more through the center here first. Now you need a little bit of a pointy knife. I didn't have this on the first segment because I had it in the drawer behind me. But what you want to do is kind of scoop this out. Now you don't want to go further than what this portion is. You don't want to go any lower than what this is right here, okay? You kind of want to meet that up together. You want to try to scoop that out and have that flush or together or, or very close to that. Okay, see how we have that? All right, that's pretty well as far as we really want to go for now. All right, now the ears are a little bit of an angle, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line across at an angle. All right, that's all I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just start, make sure you got your knife going the right way, okay? You're just going to chop this out just like so. And I'm going to round it up a little bit. See how I have a little bit of a curvature? That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to scoop that out a little bit, just like so. All right? And the same thing over here. I'm just going to scoop it out. 
You want to be careful up here because that may snap off. So try that slicing motion. Okay. I'm going to go down from the top down. It's a little easier. I don't know how many of you ever had rabbits, but they have, they have things that kind of flow in together. You know, there's no real stopping anywhere for anything. All right, so that's where we're at right now. So once we have that scooped out, I'm trying to get this to match a little bit here. Okay, what we're going to do after this is we're going to start rounding up the ear this way. Okay, just, just rounding it up. You see, I'm trying to round it up a little bit from the top down. You don't want to chop too much off the top because you don't want to lose that height to that. Whoops. You got to be very careful, folks, because it can split because the grain on this particular piece is running that way. Okay? So the ears can snap off very easily. Okay, so we have the the ears kind of pointing outward. See how we have that that little scoop on this side and a little scoop on this side. And we'll be right back to finish up the back of the ears.